All right, in this video, I want to talk about tuples in Python. So tuples are immutable data sets in Python, meaning you can't change them. Now, to create a tuple, we use, well, first let's create a variable. We'll say my tuple equals, and then we use parentheses to contain our items. So let's create a tuple. So I'm going to have a tuple of names here. So Tim, Matt, Joe, uh, Aaron, Ben, Matt, and Matt. Okay, so that's my tuple. Now we can do a few things with the tuple. We could find the length of the tuple. To do that and print it out, we'd print and we use this length function, length of my tuple. Okay, and Let's now run that, and we get seven because we have seven items in the tuple, so seven down here, okay? We can also find the index of an item in a tuple. So let's find the index of an item in the tuple. So to do that and print it out, let's print my tuple and then we do the dot here for the method and we select index and then we want to give the item so let's do Joe and now if we run this we get two because if we go zero one two Joe is at index two okay we can also uh, count the number of certain items in a tuple so count Count the number of certain items in a tuple and to do that we do uh, if we want to print we print my tuple dot and we use this count method and let's count the number of mats because I put a few mats in there and if I run this I get three because there's one two three mats in there additionally we can do a little workaround, even though tuples are immutable, we can do a workaround to add to a tuple. And to do that, we would create a new tuple. So I'm going to create a new tuple called my underscore new underscore tuple and set that equal to my tuple plus, then I'm going to add to this tuple. So I'll add Joe and Aaron. So I'm adding a tuple to a tuple. You can do that. And let's print my new tuple. And if I run this, I get this new tuple here with Joe and Aaron added to the end of it. Okay, so that's kind of a workaround. Uh, we can create a tuple of mixed values. Um, so let's call it my mixed tuple. And let's do one, two, uh, Tim. So we're doing uh, numbers and strings now, Joe, Aaron, and let's do a Boolean true, okay? And if we want to print my mixed tube here, uh, that will work just fine. It prints out just fine. There's no errors or anything like that. So we can mix the types of data types in our tuple. And we could also create a tuple from a list. So to do that, we'll say my list equals, let's create a list. Let's make it one, two, three, four, five. And then to create a tuple from it, let's call it my nums tuple. We'll just use the tuple uh, function here. We'll say tuple and pass in my list. Okay, and now if we print out uh, my nums tuple here and run it, we get a tuple, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so when do you use a tuple? Well, you use a tuple when you don't want to be able to change the data within the program. Okay, if you want some secure data, you'd use the tuple. Hopefully, this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.